so next is a femoral triangle it's a v at you are about to perform a lower limb angioplasty and have been asked by the observing medical student in the landmark to puncture the common femoral artery what is the surface landmark for the common femoral artery so middle going point between the interspinal spine and the pubic symphysis what are the borders of femoral triangle what are the content of femoral triangle the borders are the inguinal ligament superiorly medially lateral border of the sartorius uh, middle border of the sartorius uh, laterally and middle border of rectal longus medially contains the lateral cranial nerve of the thigh femoral nerve mm, nerve to pectineus femoral sheath including femoral vessels femoral branch of the femoral nerve common femoral artery femoral vein deep in the lymph nodes clinical significance bleeding in the leg can be stopped by applying pressure to the points in the femoral triangle access for the lower limb and coronary angioplasty and venous puncture access how can you locate the common femoral artery for percutaneous access which way do you prefer and why the two points one is ultrasound guided one is uh, under uh, fluoroscopic control and uh, it's preferable that it should be done under ultrasound guidance uh, because uh, in blind you don't know where you are uh, piercing or you can pierce the lateral wall or you can Sometimes if uh, common femoral artery is short in length, it, after removing the sheath, vascular axis sheath, it can retroperitoneally bleed. Mm, and uh, the next question is, the patient develops uh, a pseudoneurysm 48 hours and post lower limb angioplasty. What are the important anatomical aspects that would make you consider thrombolysis injection, compression of the duplex scan, long narrow neck, degree of anticoagulation, size, skin encroachment and viability and patient's comorbidities. Thank you.